Hey guys, it's Dave at Erratic Resonance ASMR. Um, I thought I would do a, just a quick, uh, not really even a review, but just um, a little bit of info on a heat pump or two that I just had replaced. So I live in a home that's about 16 years old and we had a couple of, um, uh, they were old pain heat pumps. And um, interestingly, when the house was built, they put the wrong air handlers on the wrong floor. So we had a two ton heat pump outside unit with a one and a half ton air handler running nonstop to keep the upstairs floor kind of cool, which is more square footage. And then a one and a half ton, um, the smaller unit connected to a two ton air handler, cooling the downstairs off so fast that um, the air would never get dehumidified. So last week we had a local company, uh, Styles Heating and Air, and I cannot recommend these guys highly enough. Just stellar service, great product, great prices. Um, they came out and they replaced basically everything um, except for our ductwork. Um, and I'm going to turn the camera around now. So they came out uh, and in one day replaced uh, both of our systems completely with the exception of the ductwork. The ductwork was still fine. So new outside compressors, replaced them with the carrier Performance Series 16 sear heat pumps. They are appropriately sized, so we have one uh, 0.5 ton downstairs where there's less square footage and a two ton upstairs where there is more square footage. And then they replace both air handlers, but the noise you're hearing in the background is actually my neighbor's HVAC running. So these were the same as the old systems we had. So what I want to do is fire these guys up and let you hear how quiet they are. So this is with one unit running. Um, the upstairs unit was just on a short while ago and it probably will not come back on uh, for about 10 minutes. Just it's a protection feature. So these units, as you can hear, are incredibly quiet. Really, really quiet. Can't hear them from inside the house at all. In fact, I can hear my neighbors on both sides. I can hear their units. Um, but I can't hear my own. So um, another thing that uh, myself and my partner did was we put in the retaining wall. It's just a very small retaining wall. But um, the old units, we had kind of had a constant challenge with trying to keep mulch and um, debris from washing down from the mulch beds into the compressor units outside. So we went ahead and fixed that up with a, a nice retaining wall with a French drain running perpendicular to the unit so that now those units should stay nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to go inside and do a review on the Ecobee thermostats that came with the system. So Styles Heating and Air also included in the package um, two Ecobee thermostats, one for each uh, floor. So you can see here, have the downstairs Ecobee um, the really cool thing about these, well, there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, hey Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.40 p.m. This is pretty cool. So Alexa is built into the thermostat. She integrates with my Control 4 system. Um, what I really, really like about this system is that you'll be 4 has remote sensors. So this little guy right over here is uh, just a wireless little puck. Um, that is both a temperature sensor and also an occupancy sensor. So you can see there's some space between the thermostat and the sensor. So what I can do is depending on um, what schedule I'm running, I can have Ecobee maintain comfort. So if I look right now at the sensors, it shows that um, the downstairs, which is the thermostat, is 72 and occupied. And the living room is 73, so that's the remote sensor and occupied. So I can specify with the system that I want it to maintain temperature based on either one of the sensors or what it's doing right now is it's taking the average of the two sensors. So the uh, thermostat was reading 73, the um, remote sensor is reading 71. So truly 72 is going to be the cutoff point. So I did that where this really comes in uh, and saves I'm predicting it's going to save a lot of money on energy is the upstairs one so you can see on my upstairs unit um, 
got this thermostat as a temperature and humidity sensor and also the bedroom. So the system is rightly showing that the hallway where I am is occupied, the bedroom is unoccupied. So I like to sleep with it about 69 degrees at night. Um, what the old system had to do in order to get, so you notice the bedroom is 71 when the thermostat is set at 72 and the hallway is 73. So in order for me to get my bedroom down to 69, the hallway would sometimes be 66, 67 degrees. So in this guy, I've been able to tell it <clears throat> my sleep schedule. Uh, give me a second to find it. So the bedroom sensor is the only sensor that is active when I'm sleeping. So. Um, what it's saying is this thermostat's temperature will not be considered while I'm asleep. It's going to set the upstairs temperature based only on the reading of the remote sensor that's in the bedroom. So that's pretty darn cool. Overall, love the system. Uh, by the way, the little red light you're seeing flashing is just uh, an infrared occupancy sensor. That's how the system knows when a room is occupied or not. So back downstairs for just a moment. Um, the last thing I want to show, so both systems are running right now. You can hear none of it, and they are literally just outside of that window. Uh, so in addition to having, uh, it could be has its own smartphone app, it has its own web portal. Um, the Ecobee API integrated really easily into my Control 4 home automation system. So you can see, you know, I have access to both thermostats upstairs and downstairs, which means that I can have, uh, you know, Control 4 send um, and receive so it can send commands based on the programming i have and it can also fire programming and logic based on um, either occupancy true or false or based on temperature for both thermostats so for me that was the really the selling point of the it could be over any of the thermostat is um, how easily it integrates with control 4 and also the alexa that's built into the thermostats is integrated in, into Control 4, so I can use those to turn lights on and off, that sort of thing. So overall, could not be happier with the um, new carrier systems that Styles Heating and Air installed for me. Uh, this is, and I do want to say this is not a paid promotional video. In fact, um, the units were replaced last week. Uh, did not receive a discount, no promotional um, anything from Styles for this, but was so happy with both the product and the service that I did want to include their name. So if you are in uh, Metro Atlanta, I'm in Athens, Georgia, and you need um, major HVAC work done, I would suggest that you give um, Scott Wall at Styles Heating and Cooling a call. His number is 706-548-1328. Um, and I am absolutely happy to act as a reference for them. Great job, guys. Thanks for watching.